fuck them. It messed my self confidence and like my self esteem so bad, bro. He juke out your meniscus? Yeah. All right, man. Welcome to Most Famous, where we are not. Uh, today we're gonna talk about <laughs> we gonna talk about like football experiences outside of football, like more off field stuff, more like psychology and like the life of being an athlete inside high school shit. So first, we're gonna introduce everybody. We're gonna go from this way down, even though he's been there so before. So go ahead. Uh, call me KJ, but Kaden for short. Okay, shit. You still playing college and shit? Yeah. yeah. Gonna, we finna get into it. Yeah, we about, to, we about to really get into it. Uh, Devin, go charcoal. <laughs> nah, say like, what position you played in high school? High okay. school? I mean, I played center and guard. Center and guard, starter? Starter. Playing all year. And when you make varsity? Sophomore. Sophomore year? Sophomore year. How are you, Bensky? Uh, play... Um, back here, and... <laughs> <laughs> I feel so much more confident that someone's behind the camera, bro. Uh, I, I... Why are you lost for words? Bro, you are What'd you make varsity? Uh, what? Sophomore year. Sophomore year. Not outside, like... And yeah. this nigga, oof. Alright, uh, I'm Manny, or Emmanuel, one, two, um... I went to Side Springs my freshman and junior year. I played, uh... A little bit old line at the time, and I played D line. D line was what I specialized in. Ended up going to Katie Tompkins, transferring over there. Uh, I played nose and D tackle. Now I play at um, University of Texas permanent basement. I'm still playing in college right now. Doing good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got varsity as a junior. I play outside linebacker. Play in. But we gonna we gonna get into that. So, Gus, let me you in first. So, like, when you was making your decision for like context, because we were like. Cyber Springs was really, like, not the players were shitty, but the organization was shitty from the top down the first two years. Like, uh -huh. was it hard making that decision? Like, from, like, like transferring schools? No cap, yeah, because yeah, like, I was, I was, I was like, y'all was my family, bro. Like, <laughs> y'all yeah. was my family, bro. But, like, I went to my office one day, and he was talking about, you're an old lineman that plays D-line. That was every, That's crazy. Every once in a while, I said. Wait, he said what? He said, yo, old line that plays D-line D every once in a while. I said, not as crazy. Yeah, okay. What? You didn't say I that like, you left me. I was like, I bet. I was like, I bet. And my mom, she was already at the other school, and she was like trying to get me to go there. So I was like, I bet. I'm going to do that. Because they were already, they were like winning a great fucking program. And she was like, I'm going to just go there and one. And I ended up going. Damn, yeah. Was you like, was you nervous? Going into the high school, like making friends and shit. No, I ain't never been nervous about making friends. I'm, I'm like an outgoing dude. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty easy for me to make friends. I was just like, I didn't know how it was gonna be because I'm like, I'm not like black and Mexican school. Like I'm yeah. used to y'all, and like I got there it was like all oh, white folks and shit. I was like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thanks, But then like everybody cool as everybody was cool as hell. Though. Like I was fucking with it, bro. Yeah, uh, coaches were cool. Uh -huh. um, team was cold as hell. Like, I was just fucking with I was happy to be there. No cap. I was listen, missing y'all, though. Hell yeah. And, like, looking back retrospectively, like, after we got our new head coach in the shit, we started winning shit. Do you wish you would have stayed the whole time? Or are you, are you still making a decision? If he if he would have got there earlier, I would have tried to stay. But, like, my mom probably wouldn't have let him. She probably would have yeah. still make a move. But I'm just saying, like, you personally, you probably would have stayed the whole time if you knew that, oh, we got a new, new head coach coming your junior year. Yeah, bro. It was safe, bro. Yeah. So, bro, go down. Like, what y'all miss most about, like, the high school, high school sports? Kaden to come down. Uh, for real, for real. I just miss like it's a different atmosphere. Like from high school to college, like it's not the same hype. Like it's it's still hype, but just like you grew up with all these people. Yeah. Like it's just like you really going out there with your brothers, and now you going out there with like dudes you just met for real, for real. So it's like, yeah. That's what I miss for sure. Like I miss my guys, bro. Right? Yeah, hell yeah, Lee. Uh, all right. Miss for sure, just grinding with the fam every day. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. pain every day. Be with your brother, and it's shit. That's all you need. Oh my god, yeah, I, same thing here. Like I miss playing with these these boys. Like our family, bro. And like, when did we meet? I met. I came to Texas what seventh grade. grade. Hmm? You were here sixth grade, bro. Oh, was it? Yeah, I remember. I remember that. I remember seeing the seventh shit. No, oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, seventh because seven not play instruments until seventh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ass, ass, but no, man, he, it was six. It was bro. sixth grade, bro. Ooh, what's, you was there. Yes, it was. It was the summer morning of seventh grade, bro. So you you weren't acting in sixth grade? No, nah, bro. I don't remember meeting him until seventh grade. It was some. I'm you you you, you and those were the first ones yeah, I met like that the, summer. 
Uh, but basically, yeah, I miss. I, 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 I have been known them boys since like seventh grade. We got super close. Like, I know their families and everything, yeah. like, super close. <laughs> yeah. Probably like, I'm not his crib right now. Yeah. Like, what's it called? Um, but I just missed that. Like, I really built bonds with, like, everybody. And, like, yeah. in college, bro, they treat it too much like a, it's so much like a business now. They always look to replace you and recruit somebody. That's just like, real, That's bro. how it is, bro. Yes, bro. It's, it's literally a business, bro. It's all about money. They trying to replace you at all times. You mess up, they, they looking for somebody else. Yeah. In the pool, bro. Every, no, like, all the time. Like, it's probably even smaller now. Yeah. Bro, high school football, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. I mean, it's it's an experience. So, like, I mean, I put, mostly every man has went through. High school. Uh, what up, this by high school, y'all, y'all? And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to just. Where did it cut off? I think it cut off after when I, it cut off when I was answering. Yeah, so I'm going to just reset what I said. Are you rolling? Is it rolling? Oh, shit. All right, <laughs> 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 No, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just take it off. So boom. Um, what I miss most about high school sports is what I was saying about like uh, the pain, running with people. I mean, learning. You'll like learn or something about your teammates. Like every once in a while that you thought you knew but you didn't know. It's the working out together, the grinding together, the losing, winning, all that shit. I mean, learning about your coaches. Even the coaches bond is a whole another thing because like some people don't have fathers at home, so their coach really their dad. And then you got stuff like staying after practice, running after practice. And then, like I said, like, you'll never have, you'll never be that close to men ever again. And, I mean, people, men need that. I mean, you know, men is lonely after that. But yeah. that's why, like, just high, high school like, sports, is like, it's just it's so important because you do not get that shit after high school. If And even if you do go to college, college play ball, it's not going to be the same because y'all are all, all, all zoned together type shit. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And y'all grew up together and shit. But I refuse to, like, like think, like, you can't be as close as with the college niggas. Like, you wasn't living with your high school niggas, but you living with your college niggas. So, yeah, yeah like, that's, that's, that's why you're going to be close. They're, like, they're going to be like your brother. So you never live with no other man like that except for your siblings, bro. Yeah. Or your dad. But, like, that's a different type of... Yo, no, definitely you know true. It's not as bad, but at the same time, like you ain't grow up with them like that. So it's yeah, like, it takes it takes more of time. Like the stuff you experience growing up with your homeboys is gonna be a totally different type of experience. You gonna like you you experiencing grown people yeah, stuff yeah, with yeah. your with your homeboys like, in college now. I'm like, so cool totally with my stuff. college people, but I'm not gonna be as close with them as I'm close with y'all. Yeah, when we come home, we can always just pull up to each other's cribs and shit and like talk, have fun, do whatever. You can't do that with them. Yeah, just different. You can go so there is it? Is shit. it? Yeah, that's the only part that's better is that like y'all can go see, bro. Like y'all yeah. go see, but everything else is better. Y'all rather have like the high school experience than the college yeah. experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, how y'all think it's changed, y'all? Like, like the whole football stuff. Like, how y'all think it's changed, y'all as men? I mean, like, so I pretty much got your average experience, like redshirt freshman. Don't really get that much exposure off the rip. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's both definitely been taxed on the mental for sure. For sure. What's hot? What's taxing? It's like, so like you go in there, you kind of want to play, but like you already know you're not going to unless you for real for a show out, and they already got their guys. Like you're just yeah. there to try to replace them. So it's like I'm like, all right, I got to show out, but then you know the real world hits you, and it's like, damn. So even your coolest coach is still trying to replace you? Yeah, yeah. that's that's the like it's a Cause business. It's, it's their job too. It's a business. Like yeah, they, they'll, they'll get, get fired yeah. if they don't get somebody to get you and then like yeah. that. If y'all don't have a winning if y'all lose so much, bro, you're gone, bro. The coach is gone. That's ass. I mean, yeah, I'm just yeah, I mean that's why like who was it? Um Should you I don't know. say names, bro? Yeah, I don't know what's the name. But I'll just bleep it out. But you know, coach he was like he didn't want to go up the she said he didn't want to go up to college because it was too, or one of them two. They said it would be too political, cause high school sports just more much smoother, it's more direct, you're more hands on. Yeah, coach said that. I think. No, I have no clue. No, I will believe all three of those. You could have just said a coach. I could have said coach said that. <laughs> <laughs> but one, one of them said that it was way too political. That's why they wanted. All to about stand. business and money, bro. That's all it is, bro. Nah, but I mean, like, it makes sense, cause college, like. They represent a whole town. Yeah. Like, really think, especially like the D1 colleges. Like, oh, most yeah. definitely. Yeah, like, I mean, they got a whole. Like, the college I go to in TCU, you're not going to hear about us. You'll hear about TCU more than this one. So, yeah, like, hell yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, and then like high school is just a school. I mean, I guess like some schools are more established than others, but like they still going to mess with you no matter. I mean, they're going to, like, I guess like the more, I mean, kind of makes sense. Like the more talented the team is, then the less more favorites they're going to have because. 
you know, they get paid good and you know, they got to feed their family and shit. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, shit. That, okay, you, you, that's you, Ben. How do you think football like, changed you? The whole experience. Uh, now, what did it teach you, you think? True. Uh, all I can just say for sure, for sure, um, before, yeah, before I started football, lazy, <laughs> fat. Yeah, but <laughs> it ain't really. Sure. Um, so now nah, I just lost training. Then yeah, you got bro. How did what did you learn, bro? Okay. <laughs> no, I, I literally forgot. Is that um, a writer prompt? You just talking. Um You know your life. We think you got stage fright. Um, um Tommy? Yeah, just learn uh, just learn yeah. not to be main main thing, just learn not to be lazy, bro. Learn how to do yeah. shit for real. Yeah, and all them niggas leaving, bro. Yeah, they just yeah. gone, bro. That's a damn. I'm looking back at the, our old team picture. This guy's gone. This guy's gone. This guy's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Just and then they just brought whole new dudes like it was nothing. Like yeah. you didn't have relationships with them, and then you just like, like, fuck. You got to do what you got to do, and then get out, bro. Like, yeah. That's all you can do, bro. Facts. They don't give a fuck about you like that. Like you think they do, they don't. Facts. They don't act like they do to buddy you up to get you to come there. And then when you get there, they just like, especially when you're fresh, they treat you like shit, but. This is what it is. We there to play football and like build and get to where we need to be. That's all. Yeah, for real. You got stuff. It's like, bro, high school. I mean, high, just football in general. Like, teach you so much, bro. Even if you like, even if you play football and you don't think you'd be that good or you small, like you still. I feel like you should still play high school sports, bro, because like it teaches you like so much. Well, me personally, I mean, it taught me like discipline, hard work, and. Even though you can put a bunch of hard work, nothing's guaranteed, you know, the whole idea, because I remember we were like in a rebuilding because we just got a new coach and like the whole idea is like we working, we could be the working hardest in the district, but we could still go negative four and six that year and you could still lose. So you could like, it treats you like you could put all your hard work into something. It just guarantees that you might not fail. It doesn't guarantee success. That's what it taught me in life. I mean, that's all I, I put that in everything and like. Oh my god, Fo football was like the basis of my character building. Like, um, I'm not gonna lie, like, bam. I remember when we first started our freshman year, like, there was a huge strength disparity. Like, this nigga was like three times stronger than me and shit, bro. That shit makes me mad yeah, as fuck. Fast. You got strong <laughs> fast. Yeah, he, got, like, he was like three times stronger than me. I was like, bro, I gotta fast. close this gap and shit. So, I mean, I'm with, you know, I'm with bam. We, we used to work out together all the time and shit, and we would be. Like, we would be like last. We would be first to pull up, last to leave. Uh, we would have um, breakfast club in the morning. At breakfast in the morning, workout in the period after school workouts, and we had to do that three times. It was a week. always late. Three. <laughs> this nigga was late. No, that's the first. Time Every I day, like I heard breakfast club about that. Three times a week, five times a week. So I mean, I mean, it was just it's just like taught me to just be committed and just like. Oh my God, that's me so much. But I mean, I owe lots of my character in football. I feel like that's why I feel like if if you play football, even if you quit or you don't play after high school, bro, it'll just teach you. You'll just be way better off in the world because so many violence in football just translate to real life. Yeah. All right, bro. Y'all got to rank these three locations. Okay. Locker room, the field, and the weight room. Rank them. So like one is the top? Yeah, so like... Do it from like least favorite to favorite, like as far as like experiences, is, experiences. Is. Oh, that and is do like hard. the peak, the peak. Like let's say way was like maxing. Um, and just be with your brothers. Yeah, like, that makes you feel yeah. Like, just like, I and then you know. got a locker room. You know, shit be going in locker room that you can't even tell other people. <laughs> but uh, which y'all think is well, how did y'all rank them? You go ahead. You go yeah. first, bro. That's hard though. That's hard that's, though. That's, that's, definitely that's hard though. Okay, what was the three? You got weight room, mm -hmm. the football field, and the locker room. And then one is like the top? Yeah, what's yeah. your, this thing is the top. Okay, so most definitely, I'm going to say the locker room is most definitely number one. Like, <laughs> locker room, what? I can't even say everything that went down. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No nigga can. <laughs> but like, nah, it was a lot of bull. Hey, bro, we used to box in the weight room. We used to box in the weight room. Yeah, so like, that, well, locker room number one. <laughs> we did, Gail. We used to a, throw, throw the little... <laughs> Throw the whole room. Room. Sure number cool. two, definitely Niggas the weight room. Mm -hmm. I feel like number two is the weight room only because, like, it was that just a different environment, bro. You're really working in the middle with your brothers. Yeah, yeah. it's like, the, like, one part of it is just working, but then you got the Mac, that max week, and it's just... You really hit like, your new shit? You're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro. Obviously, third is the field. Like, 
Everything happens, on the, everything happens on the yeah. field, though, bro. Yeah, that's true, but, like... Imagine all the practices was on the field. Yeah, yeah, but it's, like, the field is, like, what happens after you go through the locker room and the weight room is like that. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, it's cool, but like, I wouldn't have the field of the locker room. Exactly. So what you got? So you got field, field. No, I got locker room, locker room, then weight room, then the field. Okay. Yeah. Ben's this shit is hard, bro. Man, you want to answer? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm the same with him, bro. Yeah, same same order. Exactly. Wait, same order. Same order, bro. Locker room, weight room, field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same thing, but weight room over. Uh, Locker room? Yeah, weight room over. Um, weight room, locker room. Bro, why are you guys just dissing on the field? Bro? I was almost a little biased towards the weight room because they hold me on my. <laughs> you, How they hold we you? We know. Who they they, they didn't put my name on the, the we board. Know. Bro. They didn't. They, they didn't, bro. That shit still Context. They even they even oh, put they even, they, even, about that. they even put the rack. <laughs> they even had the rack. Like those barns decked out yeah, the rack and all that. They hold you. I remember that shit. They had horns. Wait, is that why they picked it to be Yes. Like, because you hit it. Yes. That's <laughs> that's tough, bro. But they didn't put my name on No, that that's man. tough, bro. That's why they picked that. Yeah, and then they tried to tell me I couldn't lift there. I was like, this is that's because crazy, of me. Bro. But yeah. What's your shit, man? What I say? What I say? I said the same thing. It's wait. It's weight room. Uh, lots of weight room. room field. Field. Nah, it's weight. It's weight room. It's weight room. Um, you guys are dis. Weight room field, field locker room. So you think because of last? Yeah. Okay. Room, yeah, because I'm thinking like, bro. I'm thinking about like when Isaiah came down and crack like that was a crazy moment. Like you got Is like that niggas throwing huh? Is that field, field moments, moment? nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got like Harrison throwing bombs and shit, and then like all the coaches yeah. arguing, yelling. And then we laughing at drills. Yeah. The field's crazy. And then, like, the day before practice or walking the field. I mean, are we counting games or that's not? Games Only is field. Games is field. Oh, yeah. Field. Oh, okay, then games is probably number one, bro. Because it's, it's not going to be games for everyone. Yeah, they keep thinking. Because I'm going to think about practice. No, games count as field. This field. Yeah, I'm saying. So, field's number okay. one. And then you got weight room. Then bro, room. I still can't do that. So, I love everything. Because you were everywhere, bro. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. Low key, I, I don't know if I can pick, but if I was, I don't want to just go right off and say it. But locker room would probably be last. Yeah, bro. probably, probably. Niggas gonna get home. Not me. I wasn't getting. You weren't. No. <laughs> the nigga lying. <laughs> He's lying, bro. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Um, what was y'all's lowest point during a football season? Oh, well, I got yeah. that one. I know I that for sure. First. My lowest point was going into my senior year, bro. I was going to camp. Like, I was getting was coaches it? calling me and texting me, bro. Like, heavy, bro. Going to camps. I went to my first camp going into my senior year. You just went to your first one senior year? Yeah, I was year. going to my – it was my first camp. Got MVP and everything. I tore oh, my wow. ACL on my meniscus at that camp, bro. Oh. And so, all these other camps I had lined up with the coaches telling me to come and visit and stuff, bro – I couldn't. I, I couldn't walk like that. Like my mm-hmm. ACL meniscus was messed up. And then one, I started walking on again. The one night I tried to run, I that. and I tried to run. And I was able to run. I wasn't feeling nothing. I was like, I could have went to these camps the whole time. My leg cool. Damn. The only time I messed up was like if it shifted on me, and then it would hurt because I didn't have no meni- yeah, I mean right, ACL right. no meniscus, so it's not holding it in place. But I was like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna still try to get these offers and everything. I played mm-hmm. my senior season with a torn ACL meniscus. Yo, dude, that's crazy. You bro. played with. The battle torn? That's yeah, crazy. Bro. They're talking bro. about you probably not gonna be able to your football season's probably gonna end after this year. They're talking about by the time you're thirty you're gonna need a knee replacement, you might not be able to walk and stuff. That's I'm true. like That's forget true. it, I'm I'm gonna do it. And I'm straight. Yeah. I'm out here playing college football. They cleared me like into like week three into the season last yeah. year. So I even if I wanted to play, I couldn't even play last year. Yeah. But I am straight now. I almost got I'm almost like equal strength on both my legs again now. Yeah. Like I'm squatting heavy. I'm back strong stuff, bro. I'm but that, was that the lowest point of your life too? In my life? Oh no, I don't think you. Don't, I'm sorry. It's yes or no because I don't. You don't got to get into that. Nah, nah. nah. nah, nah. 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 All right, what's what you have to go for? Um, man, I don't know. I don't think I was there when your shit. Or is that count? Um, if it's not, we know what it is. Yeah, I'm bullshitting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it was uh, my junior year. First game of the season. Um, the first game. I do it. That shit was uh, crazy. Tore, tore my my MCO. Um, I thought I was gonna be cool. I was not cool. Um, just was alone that time. It was tough. And came back. 
the second to last game, played those last two games, and it was all right. But that was just the. Uh, Did you cry? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cried the the when the doctor told me it was like, yeah, you're not gonna be playing. So I'm like, all right, that's the only time I cried. Yeah, I don't. I never see you on the field. This shit just like impressive shit. That's what I'm saying. All right, go ahead. Okay, so like. I would say it's when I tore my meniscus, but like, I would have to put that a little bit below, like after my grandpa passed, my senior year. Damn, senior Kaden, year. I didn't, damn. Yo! Cause like he passed right before our senior night uh, right. against Parks. Right. I was like, damn. And then everything happened with my ex. And mm-hmm. then like, bro, I like, I ain't told nobody this, but I thought about quitting football, bro. Yeah, for real? Yeah, yeah. I thought about quitting football. Cause it was like, just too much? Life was too hard, bro. Yeah. And like, I had so many talks with uh, Fago, and uh, coach, uh, coach Six, and like, they just encouraged me to keep going, and I started getting offers, and I was like, I'm just oh, yeah. going, yeah. But nah, tearing my meniscus is definitely number two, cause like I tore it, like they had me trying to be face of the franchise, tore it. I'm like, the knee injuries, bro, football, bro. Yeah. God, bro. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know that I can imagine. You don't ever want it, bro. Yeah. Do y'all like know when it happened? Like when y'all, when yes, y'all tore y'all shit, y'all like, yes. yo, it's I, over. I knew, I knew it happened because it was, it was junior year. We played humble. I tore it. Ooh, it was, yeah. it was, threw a pick and I went and chased the dude. He low key juke me. I ain't gonna remember lie. this. He juke me and I hit. T- he juke y'all to a meniscus. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like after yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. the film, I was like, bro, I got my ankles. Nah. He <laughs> juke me out of Dude, my. I don't know that. Don't know that. He, he I got juked out of my meniscus, but and then I felt it for the rest of the game. I kept playing, but like when we got to halftime, because this is before halftime, when we got to halftime, I felt it, bro. I felt it, bro. And then after the game, we won. We hyped because I was like, what, the first win in how long? Yeah, what, what the humble game? Humble. Oh, wait, uh, would you, uh, uh, I mean, we had one, we time. had one the year before, but like that was our first, like yeah. the first game that we won out of yeah. district, and like, bro. I couldn't even celebrate with y'all, bro. Yeah, like the was. most I did was throw up the ice in that video, bro. Yeah, but I couldn't, screaming. I couldn't celebrate. I was celebrating on one foot, like, uh, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, it was bad. But I'm like, no, that's up behind. Bro, when I tore mine, bro, I was at the camp. We doing one on ones, bro. So I'm trying to like plant and like take on this old lineman's weight. He had all his weight on me, bro. Mm. And I felt, I felt my leg, like my legs, like this. It went. Ch-ch-ch. I was like, yo, <laughs> but I, I screamed and hit the ground. I was like, oh my God. And they're like, just get up and try and walk. But I got up and I stepped bitch. on it, bro. They don't care about you. I <laughs> stepped on it, bro. And like, that, God, stuff, that stuff hurt so bad, bro. Bro, my yeah. stuff was swollen, bro. Yeah, like, that stuff was bad. Bro, bro, I knew I was like, something was really wrong. Because remember how we had to do those morning weights after the game on Saturday? Yeah, the flesh out. Yeah, the flesh out week, bro. Man. My knee, like how it is now, it was like this. Yes, bro. <laughs> and I had to ice it for, for the flesh out. I was like, yeah. mama, I can't lift, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, bro. I've been thinking about this shit all week, bro. I'm going to take a while. So, boom. My lowest point is easily, nigga. I was the first. So, we got a whole new coaching staff, bro. And I was the first nigga ever to get moved down from Barca to JV, bro. That shit destroyed me, bro. I remember, um, it was right before. <laughs> this nigga, I remember. Nah, nah, on, on God, it is. Nobody did hold No, they didn't hold me, bro. Dude, I asked around the whole school. Nobody liked that. Bro, no, no, no. You gotta let me finish, bro. So it was right before practice. It was when practice started, bro. So school, the bell rung. For seven period ended, bro. School's ended, right? I'm going to the locker room, bro. and then, bro, I'm I'm putting in my locker. I'm twisting my shit, and then coach, uh, one of the coaches told me to come to the coach's office, bro. And then there, it, I sat down, a quiet room, all the coaches standing around, bro. It's one table, bro. It's like this. It's me and the head coach, and he told me, um, yeah, ooh, I think that if I move you down to JV, it'll be better for your development. Ooh, and that crushed me. I was like, coach, you're not serious, bro. And he's like, yeah, it's serious. I'm like, okay, bro, I'm saving face, bro. I'm still walking through, like, everything cool, bro. And then I, I'm trying with my locker, bro. I can't, bro. And then I just, I just start crying. They changed the lock on you? No, nah, they didn't change the lock on me, bro. But oh. I started bawling my eyes out, bro. And then Coach Vegas saw me. I had to go see our, our athletic trainer, Mama, bro. And she, bro, bro, big ups to fucking moms, bro. 20 years, bro. I, I was at my lowest bro. point, bro. She's and we was, do y'all remember that? Uh, where the where the soccer players leave the yeah. extra hallway, bro. Yeah, I was right, against bro. the wall, just crying. Yeah, right outside yeah. the wall stitch. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I was just on, I was on my back face. Was this wall. after school, bro? After practice? This is y'all were y'all were warming up. 
Oh. We y'all warming up. I'm over here crying by my eyes up, bro. And mama come to me, I'm, <laughs> and then you know, and this, I mean this, and then um, yeah, that's my lowest point. But the my whole high school experience was terrible on me mentally because I'm not blaming no high school coach for nothing. I blame everything on me because that's I mean it's my life. But like, bro, I mean for context, I was one of the if not the most athletic player on the team because I no one's as fast on me as fast as I was and as strong as I was and as quick as I was. There was people that were stronger, faster, and quicker, but no one's as well rounded. And I mean, I was you can ask anybody. I was in the weight room more than anybody, you know, pushing weight. I mean, pushing him. And he was stronger than me. And I'm telling you, you gotta put my weight in the bar. I mean, I mean, niggas make jokes about how much I'm in the weight room and shit, but I couldn't do shit on the field. And bro, that shit used to eat on me. Bro, right, that, shit got that shit no, bro. That shit, bro. <laughs> that shit got to me crazy, bro. So I'm, I'm, I'm over here living on his weight. I'm living on his weight thinking that. To it, <laughs> I'm living on his weight thinking that, oh, like, uh, it's gonna make me better. But I don't know what it was. The net the dots weren't connecting, bro. Life. And bro, like bro, I mean, it fucking it messed with my self-confidence and like my self-esteem so bad, bro. I felt so lonely in myself. Like People were like, man, I hate going to practice, but I'm like, I didn't like going to practice for a different reason because I knew like I'm gonna fuck up somehow, some way. If I can just get a practice with no coach saying nothing, that's a good practice to me. <clears throat> and bro, I felt so low about myself. My confidence was like at the floor and shit. And bro, like I would get in get in games, bro, and I'll fuck up in the game, bro, and then nigga, I would Oh my god, bro. I would, I would, uh, bro, film room. Like, no, film, no, 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 let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Bro, film room was the most scariest time of my life, bro. Cause we we get a film room, bro, and this your y'all know what it is, bro. It's your whole team, bro. You fuck up, bro. That coach be running that place so hundred times, bro. And bro, my coach used to chew my ass out, bro. And that shit used to destroy me. Like one of the it's not like it'd be different if I was like I was small, like no, like nigga, I had like the utmost potential. I did not live up to that shit. And I sold my team ultimately. So bro, like there'll be times where I like cry, bro, cause I'm, I'm putting on this work and shit ain't converting, bro. I'm letting my team down. And that shit's fucking me heavy, bro. So bad. And that's my, my, I mean, my whole high school, man, my junior year and my senior year. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. After he got hurt. So I was his backup. We both played the same position at the same time at one time, right? I was his backup. But he told us, he tore his uh, injury, right? It was terrible. But I was backup. So I'm the next man up. And that next game, I was starting, bro. And I fucked up like 80% of the plays. Damn, let's say 100 and, bro, after that, I just lost all my confidence. They were just looking for my replacement. They had, like, a rotating guy's replacement because I couldn't fill the job. And that shit used to eat at me. And um, that shit used to tear me down so bad. So, I mean, I, I don't have self-confidence issues now anymore. But I, at one point in my life, I was felt so low by myself because football. Because, you know, I think, like, when you're in high school football, football is all you know. Like, damn near your value as a person is contributed to what you do on the football field. Because high school is like, high school football is like, you know, for, for boys, man, it's how good are you on the team? You know, niggas, you play football, how good do you start? That's what they start with. So it's not about how smart you are. That's what they know you at. Yeah, that's what they know you at. So if, if I, niggas, I would hate when people ask me, like, you start or you play, because I do, because I knew deep down, like, and I would just hide that shit and just like, anytime we talk about football, I'll switch the questions, bro. And this is the last thing, like, I remember, like, I, was, I couldn't wait for football to season in. Cause I, then it was track season. Cause like I can run the fucking straight line if anything, and then like we'll be warming up and niggas talking about football and I'll just stay quiet and I don't say nothing because of how my experience was. And yeah, so that that football, I love football to death. I mean, it taught me so much things. But like definitely my lowest low was way lower than my highest high. And I don't really have confidence issues now. But oh my gosh, if I was talking to man now, I would just I would just say like if I was just tell my talk to myself I was in high school, I would just say that like. Who you are as a football player does not mean who you are as a person. Because at me at that time, those were the same thing. And I just felt so lowly. I would just hate practice. But yeah, that's no, my that was just like deep, that guy, deep, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, it's, like, this is real Thank life, bro. God, said like, you would not know what your, like, what your people is going through unless they, like, really tell you. That's why you got to check up on your yeah, lens, bro. Like, yeah. mental health is a real thing. And nobody really real. talks about I, that. I be, call, yeah. I be trying to call everybody every once in a while, bro. Yeah, actually, I lost I my trying notes. I'm not hearing this. <laughs> I lost my question. <laughs> but I've been thinking that shit all week, bro. And I was like, I need No, it. nigga, you just poured out right there. Yeah, because I, I know somebody else is going through the same thing. Crazy. I know someone's going through the same thing. A tripping, there were times when she was feeling like, I, I know, I'm just telling you, I know what it's like. Because 
I mean, and, uh, and that's that's half the reason why Jerry, I work. You got to be feeling something back there, nigga. <laughs> <God, laughs> that's yeah. a, you didn't know you come for that. Yeah. But no, nah, this uh, that's why I, that's don't, you hold that nigga. Don't, don't hold that nigga. Mm. That's why I work. <laughs> that's really why I work that hard. Cause I thought if I'm gonna if I'm gonna wave I get big and strong, there's no way I could be asked. And yes, you can't be, bro. It was because it was the mental. Cause if, if your mental ain't there, if you don't Absolutely. think you this shit or you don't think you know what you're doing, you're not gonna know what you're doing. So yeah, that's that's my high school experience. I told no nigga that. Like every time we talk about football, I'll brush right, around it. I told yeah, no nigga yeah, that. Right. I'll tell because no, it's my part. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, gotta gotta keep that's it real. real though, yeah, for real, for real. Bro, I, oh, I feel way better now. <laughs> like, you got to hold that one percent of men that really let you like tell you no, emotion, bro. You bro. Like, yeah, yeah, that's for real right there. Yeah, bro. bro. I, I mean, I've been holding on to that shit forever, bro. Bro. Hey, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot that part. Bro, there'll be times like I'll be my dad will pick me up from practice, bro, and then we're driving and we'll talk about football and be like, yeah. And my dad will be like, you know those people on the on the field that are all weight room but can't bust a grape. Yeah, I hate those people. I was yeah. one of those people. I, I, I was one of those people. I'd be like, yeah, dad. I don't just talking about. I'm one of them. That's and my dad would be steady be blaming the coaches and shit. Bro. <laughs> you said busting grapes. <laughs> so, 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 but yeah, I'm like, dad, that's that's me. I'm one of them. But yeah, that shit used to pull me down, bro. Yeah, I'll be crying. I'll be crying so nice, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's. I know someone, someone else, I just resonated with somebody else was watching on the side, other side of the screen, bro. And I, I know just like, bro, and it's, it gets greener, bro. I just don't let that contribute to you, bro. <laughs> it's, it, it gets real low, bro. I hate going to film, bro, because I knew I was going to get you the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> so, Y'all going to add anything else? Lift all that weight. We can't bust it. That nigga be, be like, you know niggas work room. Push on his weight, you can't man. bust a grape. That's untalk, bro. That's untalk, bro. That's barbershop that's talk. That's my pop. Man. That's coming from my pops, nigga. You know what I put by my dad. Oh, so. that's <laughs> Bro, that shit would that shit would eat my nah. Nah, that shit would oh my god, bro. Nigga, I'm thinking about the I'm other about day, bro. I'm like, bro, if imagine your your son trying so hard, but he just just ass poo, ass. just poo. That shit would break. That's there's bad. That like shit break, I would go on, like I'd be like, okay, I know what to do. I gotta do that. I, and then I'll be in the game, bro. And in some way, somehow, I found out to do the exact same thing. Well, yeah, I don't know if I was bro. overthinking. Those were like mental problems. But even know, though, like after all that, like you don't get the shine or the credit for anything, but like you still, yeah, like, you still yeah. gotta put, you still gotta put some respect on their name because at the end of the day, you didn't what? quit. Nigga, yeah, I didn't what? quit though. But about. like, here's the thing, like, like about quitting, like high school, like I. But like, can you quit though? Yeah. Like, yeah, you you can quit, but then like you know how long it took. I'll be blaming you, but you know how long it took to quit when he made a business and he had to make yeah, a business. He business. made a business, and, business. Business. and, business. and business. I'm gonna quit football with nothing but no plan B, and like yeah. football's my whole life, and like it, it's it's that's, like, that's scary. Bro. And then you have the same thing like when I said earlier about how like football is. High school football at least is contributed to how you're worth at least your other yeah. friends. And I'm equipped. If I'm equipped football, I'm like, it's like I'm fucking off my teammates. Like, Appreciate that, yeah. nigga. What? You know, and then like, yeah, if I quit, like somebody, that. like that. somebody might go one less rep in the weight room. I'm like, oh, Matt quit, then I can quit too. Even though I was as football, I mean, I was still a, the dog of weight room, a dog of weight room, even though it didn't translate. But you really can't really. You can quit, but you, it's hard, bro. Yeah. It's like, I and mean, that's like the biggest decision you can make. And it's like you're quitting on yourself, but then yeah, that's why I didn't quit. But oh my god, shit, that's like a weight lifting now. Anyway, damn, bro, Katie, you don't gotta get in this hole if you don't want to. I cut this out, bro. Uh, be like nothing happened, bro. But like, how did the breakup or thing you go going through with your relationship like affect your play? Because I know someone else went through. Nah, other people gone through a breakup. And so football. like, so high school, right? High school, yeah. yeah that's on breakup. Okay, so like. With us, bro, it's like we met off the random. Like, she added me on IG. We started talking. Da, 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 da. We had mutuals. It was cool. Like, mm -hmm. it was literally... And I'm known, bro. Like, everybody then went to middle school with me. I'd have met new people. Like, yeah. everybody... You can't talk to somebody without them knowing who I am. Yeah. Like, I'm not even glazing myself. I'm just being real. Because they still talk about me at their school to the day. Yeah. So, it was like... I didn't know her, bro. But other people I knew knew her because of... Who she was before she was with me. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much Captain Taylor. <laughs> like, I, I hate sadly, I hate calling sadly, myself that because bro. I hate being like that person. But mm -hmm. like, that's literally what I was called, bro. Because like, of the stuff that the life that she lived, bro. But like, when it was when she was with me, bro, everything was like sunflowers and rainbows, bro. Like, mm -hmm. it was great, bro. 
<clears throat> but like, I, I suffered through mental health and stuff like that, and I didn't have it under control back then. So like, I would just be wilding out sometimes, and like, I would just, I would just want to be alone. But mm-hmm. I never like told nobody that because like, it is what it is. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But like. Football was like the biggest thing for me. Like I grew up, everybody knew I was gonna play football because of my stature, and like I started believing that too. Like yeah. I still believe that to this day. Like NFL is a dream, but now I'm smarter about it, so I got backups if stuff don't. You know, what I'm, saying? Yeah. I'm not the type of dude to have backups unless I know it's smart to have them. Type mm-hmm. Like that's literally what they teach you in type college shit. football. Like they say, milk this football stuff till it run out. Like mm-hmm. so, you use football to get a job. But back to high school, like we broke up. We broke up twice during the duration. Nobody really know about the first one. We broke up during the summer before senior year. Mm-hmm. Cause, and it was like right before she went back to her homeland because she's from Hawaii. And it kind of messed with me. But like, I mean, I was the cause of it because I started rocking with another girl at the same time. But I didn't fully commit to it because like, I'm a lover boy. Everybody knows that. Yeah. So then we get into the senior year, bro. Wait, so we got together this time? When you yeah, like we got... So, so you we, cheated or no? No, no, I didn't cheat. Like, I was talking to other people, but it wasn't deep. Like, I was just on some friendly stuff, but it was like, I'm a very flirtatious person. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, call it what you want, but I don't think it's cheating. That's cheating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's, I it's mean, cool, yeah, bro. But, I mean, it's yeah, but... I mean, yeah. But, yeah, that happened. And we got back together right before senior year started. So, we going on strong. Like, I'm talking about, bro, I still remember... Like, when we would have summer workouts, and she do volleyball. Mm-hmm. So, like, we would be going, and I'd be trying to make time to go see her because I got to make it up to her. Like, mm-hmm. I fucked up as a man. I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying, her back and some shit. And, yeah, like, and then shit happened with my grandpa. Bro, that shit. Bro, mm-hmm. So, it was, like, snowballed and shit. Yeah, bro, like, that shit. We got back together in August. Was stuff that happened with my grandpa happened in September. Yeah. So, like, we were still in season. And I'm just like, bro, I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, Bro, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do if something happened to this man. Mm-hmm. And then stuff happened to him. And then, like, I remember, like, we was all hyped, bro, because we were about to go against Parks. And I was like, yeah, I was hyped as hell. Wait, you're senior? Senior. Mm-hmm. Then I get that text oh, yeah, from yeah, my yeah. aunt. Mm-hmm. I get that text from my aunt. Yeah. She's like. Wait, wait, I, how soon? How soon? What do you mean? Like, when did you get the text? I got, like, you know what hospice is? Hospice? Yeah. Like, when they, they on your last port? Yeah. When, they, when you pretty much. There's nothing left they can do for you. They're just keeping you alive for yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like a week max. Yeah, shit. So like I get that text. She like, I don't know if you know, but your grandpa is not in good condition. And I'm like, I want to see. I want him to see me graduate. So I was like, I mean, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm always thinking for the better thing. So then my mom and my sister up and leave out of nowhere. It's just me, my brother, and my dad at home, and they just leave. I'm like, well, like why did they leave? Like, oh. and then they gone. I get that that call. Gone. Mm-hmm. I was I was hurt, but I went like I remember everything. Like you know how, you know how high school sound like it's just loud, everybody yeah. talking, everything. It just went silent. Yeah. Oh Damn. shit! Everything yeah. went silent, bro. Like I remember. Damn. Going, I remember going to school the next day, the day, the day before the game, bro. I'm just I didn't talk to nobody. Mm-hmm. Like y'all were literally the only people I talked to in uh, two gap, bro. I didn't talk to nobody, but I didn't even talk to her. Mm-hmm. And then like it, she started like seeing that she was like. She started asking around. She's like, why aren't you talking to me? This, that, that, that. Now, I finally told her, and she was just being, like, overly affectionate. Like, I understand as a female, like, you're supposed to be there for your, your guy. Like, that's your guy. Yeah. You know what she saying? was trying but, to help, but you like, I just don't want Yeah, I didn't, yeah, want, I didn't want all that. It was yeah. too soon, and she didn't understand that. And, yeah, so, like, that kept going. But finally, I kind of, I didn't, I'm not going to say I embraced it. Or accepted it, but I kind of just like life goes on. Yeah. So like, yeah, but it's still little did I know I kind of just buried that. Yeah. I just like yeah. swept it under the rug. You didn't. Like, you didn't grieve. I didn't grieve. Yeah. You just. I, I just kept playing ball. Yeah. I didn't grieve at all. Yeah. Cause you. Were... What I say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you grieve when you were going through the breakup? Uh, no. Like most definitely, but like I I didn't grieve about the breakup. It was more so about my grandpa. That was more travel? That was more travel. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, like, because, like, I grew up with him, for sure. Like, yeah. he, like, before my parents were my parents, they, like, him and his wife, my granny, were my yeah. parents. Like, that's what I saw them as. Because um, I was a rebellious child, for real, but, nah, they most definitely raised me. And he's the reason, like, I'm even going through everything I'm going through now. Like, he put me on the path to want to be an engineer. 
And like he told me I was gonna be a ball player. I was like, I don't even know. Yeah, love that in your pops. Yeah, like for real, for real. And then everybody just like bought into it and instilled it into me. And now I'm the man who I am today. Yeah. But uh, not a situation with her. Like it was crazy. Um, it was just showing too much emotion, like too much of it too soon. Yeah. And I'm still trying to process like real world. Yeah. Like, cause I was. Like I've gotten a little taste of like the real what the real world is, but like to experience a death that actually means mm, something to you. Hell yeah! Like hell it, yeah! I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't experienced it either. Me personally, but I mean, well, technically I have, but it hasn't hit me. Like my grandma died, uh, but we I grew up with her. Like we, we spent hell of time together, but mm. we were close. But when I went to her funeral, I didn't cry or nothing. I didn't mourn. Like I, I don't know. That's like I don't know if I need therapy or something. But I didn't hit me like a train. Like, oh God, bro! I be dry, bro. I don't. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know, know why I don't cry like that no more. With that. I don't know if because I see it coming or I just accept that's the way of life. I mean, I mean it's still I'm, sad, but. but like for me, like the only reason I don't really cry is because like when I was little, I used to cry about the littlest stuff, mm -hmm. and like I don't know, like black moms, they don't really like you're a man, stop crying. And I guess that gets instilled like into you, know. like you know, I'm a man, I don't need to cry. Yeah, One day my mom said, nobody gives a fuck about you. Stop fucking crying. I was like, Some real shit. After that, bro. I was just hey. so cold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was just cold after that, bro. But I had no, that's what makes it weird, like, for me personally, because I had no experience like that. No one, like, put, my mom didn't really force, like, masculine values of, like, my mom, of, of toxic masculinity and stuff like that. Like, I've been like this since I remember, like, as far as, like, I mean, when I went through the divorce, that was, like, the most, that was a turning point in my life when I went to divorce with my parents. I mean, I didn't, cry my sister like cry crazy and I'm, I'm just like keep it pushing like I just went, that's when I realized that's when I really when I had that when I went through that divorce I really like oh my god I would be down to talk for like more hours with y'all than you <laughs> no nah, I didn't know what's going on but anyway like when you was on the field like where did you, where did, you, did you ever like think about like your grandpa or, like the relationship like mid play or like, things like that did you ever get emotional like did you ever take you out that zone you know what I mean I think like it was during the park game, I think, that, that the game we played, like, right yeah. after. Because um, I was, like, because before the game, like, because he had passed, like, the day before, like, the day, two yeah, days that's, before. That's, that's heavy. And, like, I remember posting, like, on Facebook, all the old heads could see. I remember yeah. posting, like, um, a screenshot of him looking out of a window. And I think it was, like, when we were at a hospital for my granny. Uh -huh. And it was, like, it's a fire picture. I don't know if y'all seen it. But like, um, I posted it and I was like, now you finally get to watch me play because he's never got to watch me play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I posted Bro. that. And I was just thinking about that all game. And I remember that game, first play out the rip. I don't know, no, no hate towards Victor. <laughs> I, 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 I grabbed him and I drove him. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. That nigga feel all the misses, oh, all the, yeah. all the strength. Like, I'm talking about first play out the game to get the ball. That's the first play. <laughs> Don't try to kill me. That nigga. <laughs> I didn't even know who it was. I didn't even know. I didn't know who they anybody just, was on the field. You saw a helmet and a hat. Bro was hit red, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That was like, that was the most. I wasn't in the game. Game yeah. yeah, you were just somewhere else. Yeah. But it was just Essie's that took over and just like, yeah. yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Going through death, going through death and playing balls. I mean, going through death for anybody is hard. And you got to, you still got to wake up that, you got to still waking up at 6 a.m. the next morning, you know, still be here for workouts. The yeah. worst part is like, you know, that you can never talk to that person. You can never talk Ever. to that person again. Damn, bro. That's what I'm saying. Damn, bro, that's what I'm saying. Bro, that's how life is, though. That's every time a family member died, though, they like come to see me in a dream once, yeah. and then after that, you just don't. I do not. Anymore. I do not get. Man, that's, that's even. Man, that would be crazy. And like, I'm that's afraid crazy, of like bro. not being able to like remember their face no more. That's yeah, the, my that's, biggest fear, man, bro. That would be. That's my biggest that fear. Sounds bro. horrible, bro. Man, I should. Well, I mean, that probably could have been your biggest fear like 30 years ago, but luckily we got pictures and stuff. So oh, even God, if you get, yeah. you can show it. But imagine, I mean, there's probably bro, someone like, else. There's people with photographic memory, bro. I would, there's, there's no amount of money I wouldn't give to have that shit, bro. Shit, that's what I'm saying. Photographic memory has to be a gift. That's a gift for sure. Yeah, I don't have it. All right, so the last question is like, why y'all think like football is the perfect sport? Bro, football is the perfect sport. Bro, the amount of lessons and stuff and like, you learn and the amount of relationships, bro, like, I don't see that happening in a sport, bro. Yeah. Like you're being forced to work as a team and really build these relationships. Like you can, you can really like not like somebody, like hate somebody's guts. But if you put on that football field with them and on that team, bro, you just gotta learn to love each other. Yeah, bro. Y'all sure. can hate each other's guts, sure. bro. Like there's Niggas nothing. Did not learn that many. 
Which you mean? Not learn it. I'm not saying who. Bro, bro there was man. people I hated, and we touched that field together, and I started to love them. Real ball yeah. players, my homies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ball. Real. Shit. What's it called? Um, bro, football just makes you an all around person, bro. Like you volunteer, you working out, you're lifting, yeah. you're. You're in the top like one percent of men that can lift the weight you lift. Bro. Yeah, you're yeah. like, bro. There's just so much that goes into it, bro. Yeah. You're being punished with your brothers. Like you're going through all this hardship, bro. Like, there's nothing you can't do in life after you yeah. out of football, bro. You've been through it all, dang near. Like you've been through all that pain, bro. There's only certain there's small things that can really be worse than that, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like football is just everything. And nigga, that's how I feel. That's like. That's how I look at you niggas, and I know college is worse, so I can't even yes, imagine bro, shit. Through it in college, bro. I can't even imagine what like, y'all going The through, hardship bro. that we went in oh high school, God. it's not as taxing as it is in college, but college football takes over your whole life. Like, you know, I'm no, I'm no people like, will say it's slavery, and I'll yeah, be like, yeah, it's I'll really. I'll like, yeah. agree to that, because, like, high school football, like, it's cool, but you got to think about it. We only there for like two, three hours. High school yeah, football, I mean, college football. All day. You're there all day. All day, I mean, day you got classes and tests in this, bro. So don't I don't even, you. you remember, how was y'all's fall camp, bro? Because mine was, ooh. Bro. I've never been that tired in my life, bro. Fall camp was. I, I can't even intend it. I think of this shit, bro. Oh, God. High school was hard. You're going 14 <laughs> hours of straight something every I hour, even bro. I think of this shit, yeah. man. No sleep, bro. And then when you fall, you might see a room. You got to do that homework, bro. You're like, bro. That's what's, what, that's what's blowing my mind is the work. That's, no, the work bro. is killer, bro. Because, I mean, high school, high school work is fucking easy. Fucking easy you shit. You just have to, like, actually do it. For real. You just got to <laughs> just be on top of your work. You know, you take a 70s, you'll be great. Oh, uh, okay. So, Ben, you want to go or, or Katie, you want to go? Why y'all think football is the perfect sport? Oh, um, football is the perfect sport because it has everything, bro. It has... has everything, man. And then at the end of the day, it's also football, too. Who doesn't yeah. love football? Yeah. Bro. The real real niggas know that it's, it's hard, bro. Like, the yeah. real niggas know the trenches, bro. This nigga sounds like some as fuck. Joe, what's your beef with me, bro? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's the second thing I have to cut out. No, I'm uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think football is the perfect sport. Like, I'm not endorsing anybody to play it, but I mean, if you want to try it, no, try it. I'll do. But, like, my kids are playing football. <laughs> <laughs> my kids most definitely got to get in it. So. Yeah, you can get in the past. It's, yeah, it's just it just makes you tougher yeah, as a person. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like fuck the sport. Like, like what it put you as a person. You have everything. I think yeah. it, it's the perfect sport. Because, like, if you join any other sport, like, they'll teach you their, like, something. Like, mm-hmm. it's a sport. They're going to yeah. teach you something. But, like, football has teamwork, like, hardships, all that. Like, everything combined into one. Like, you literally, yeah. if you talk to somebody that played a different sport and they tell you something that they had to go through, you've probably already been through it. And uh, then worse. Yeah, it probably so worse. Yeah, to a high degree. Like, yeah. it, football literally teach you, teaches you, if you're a man, it teaches you how to grow fast. Like, is I mean, it could also just be. You got something to protect playing football. Yeah. Man. You got niggas depending on you. Yeah. yeah. It could also be, like, the coaches you have as well, but, like, if you have a decent coach, like, he don't even have to be, like, championship winning. If you just have a decent coach that will get you somewhere, like, you're going to learn everything you need to learn. Yeah, Yeah, good coach. They're teaching life lessons, too. Like, our coaches, respecting women was a big thing, bro. If you did anything wrong with a female, you were cooked, bro. bro. Respect your parents. Don't let them find you did some crazy stuff. Don't even think about getting in trouble with the police, bro. You're cooked, bro. You're more afraid of them than you are going to jail, bro. Like, yeah. Come bro, on, football bro. is is the the pinnacle, especially for men. Football is the pinnacle sport. I mean, because you got contact. Men love contact. Hell yeah. you, you, got, got, you got you got contact. Yeah. You got teamwork. You I got think that's discipline. what I was trying to say. All this shit yeah, you know. saying. You got game. hard work. Shit. And then also, I mean, a, a, a part that's not spoken enough about football is the chess aspect of football. As a coach, like, oh, if you go do this, I gotta do this. And then I love the whole aspect of like look like cover two, cover one, what we do, if they're playing press, playing off, you know, what we slide to protect them. So like you gotta think. And then you just I mean, everybody has a story of football, you know. It's just a collection of like seventy different men and everybody came from this part. But we all try to do this one thing all together. Now, that just makes it awesome. And you look at basketball, basketball, you could be a star, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you got you got KDs and LeBrons. You can have a you know what I mean, you can have a KD LeBron you on your football team, but 
Yeah. You can have a, a crazy receiver, bro. If your quarterback can't throw 20 yards, it's nothing. Yes, you know what I mean? But also, basketball, like, they got different leagues. Like, if you don't make it straight out of college, you can go off some offshores and yeah. make it to. Yeah, like, yeah football, football is here, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That one opportunity if you mess up. Yeah, like, for real. And yeah, and then, yeah, and then that's another thing. Like, it's like life is a lot of life and death or this or that. It's pretty, like, you either make it or you don't. You know what I mean? And that's. That's what football is like. You know, basketball, NBA, you got 80 some games. On football, you got, what, 17, 10 in high school? Bro, you only 17 got like, if you're in the league, yeah, bro. That's yeah, not yeah, even in the league. That's oh, not even in college, oh, God, bro. Elite. So you got one chance to make it all right. And then you practice oh, your whole life. And then you just went up to me. I thought y'all played more. I was 10. Well, I mean, y'all got... And then, and then, and That's then crazy. the killer part about it is college. They take stats to go into playoff now. Yeah. So like my team could have went into playoffs, but because that one team kicked a field goal, they kicked us out. Oh shit! Yeah. So our team, matter, we, we were undefeated in the conference, so we got in the playoffs. No matter we could have lost that game and still went to the playoffs, but because they chose to kick that field goal, they kicked us out. Yeah, but yeah, football is perfect sport. Um, <laughs> this is a great episode. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all next Monday. Let us know if you want part two. <laughs>